April 8th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 17 and 18 from the Old Testament. Lord, consider my just cause. Pay attention to my cry for help. Listen to the prayer I sincerely offer. Make a just decision on my behalf. Decide what is right. You have scrutinized my inner motives. You have examined me during the night. You have carefully evaluated me, but you find no sin. I am determined I will say nothing sinful. As for the actions of people, just as you have commanded, I have not followed in the footsteps of violent men. I carefully obey your commands. I do not deviate from them. I call to you, for you will answer me. O God, listen to me. Hear what I say. Accomplish awesome, faithful deeds, you who powerfully deliver those who look to you for protection from their enemies. Protect me as you would protect the pupil of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from the wicked men who attack me, my enemies who crowd around me for the kill. They are callous. They speak arrogantly. They attack me. Now they surround me. They intend to throw me to the ground. He is like a lion that wants to tear its prey to bits, like a young lion crouching in hidden places. Rise up, Lord, confront him, knock him down, use your sword to rescue me from the wicked man. Lord, use your power to deliver me from these murderers, from the murderers of this world. They enjoy prosperity. You overwhelm them with the riches they desire. They have many children and leave their wealth to their offspring. As for me, because I am innocent, I will see your face. When I awake, you will reveal yourself to me. He said, I love you, Lord, my source of strength. The Lord is my high ridge, my stronghold, my deliverer. My God is my rocky summit where I take shelter, my shield, the horn that saves me and my refuge. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I was delivered from my enemies. The waves of death engulfed me. The currents of chaos overwhelmed me. The ropes of Sheol tightened around me. The snares of death trapped me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried out to my God. From his heavenly temple, he heard my voice. He listened to my cry for help. The earth heaved and shook. The roots of the mountains trembled. They heaved because he was angry. Smoke ascended from his nose, fire devoured as it came from his mouth. He hurled down fiery coals. He made the sky sink as he descended. A thick cloud was under his feet. He mounted a winged angel and flew. He glided on the wings of the wind. He shrouded himself in darkness, in thick rain clouds. From the brightness in front of him came hail and fiery coals. The Lord thundered in the sky. The Sovereign One shouted. He shot his arrows and scattered them, many lightning bolts, and routed them. The depths of the sea were exposed. The inner regions of the world were uncovered by your battle cry, Lord, by the powerful breath from your nose. He reached down from above and took hold of me. He pulled me from the surging water. He rescued me from my strong enemy, from those who hate me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in my days of calamity, but the Lord helped me. He brought me out into a wide open place. He delivered me because he was pleased with me. The Lord repaid me for my godly deeds. He rewarded my blameless behavior. For I have obeyed the Lord's commands. I have not rebelled against my God. For I am aware of all his regulations, and I do not reject his rules. I was innocent before him and kept myself from sinning. The Lord rewarded me for my godly deeds. He took notice of my blameless behavior. You prove to be loyal to one who is faithful. You prove to be trustworthy to one who is innocent. You prove to be reliable to one who is blameless. But you prove to be deceptive to one who is perverse. For you deliver oppressed people, but you bring down those who have a proud look. Indeed, you are my lamp, Lord. My God illuminates the darkness around me. Indeed, with your help, I can charge against an army. By my God's power, I can jump over a wall. The one true God acts in a faithful manner. The Lord's promise is reliable. He is a shield to all who take shelter in him. Indeed, who is God besides the Lord? 
Who is a protector besides our God? The one true God gives me strength. He removes the obstacles in my way. He gives me the agility of a deer. He enables me to negotiate the rugged terrain. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend even the strongest bow. You give me your protective shield. Your right hand supports me. Your willingness to help enables me to prevail. You widen my path. My feet do not slip. I chase my enemies and catch them. I do not turn back until I wipe them out. I beat them to death. They fall at my feet. You give me strength for battle. You make my foes kneel before me. You make my enemies retreat. I destroy those who hate me. They cry out, but there is no one to help them. They cry out to the Lord, but he does not answer them. I grind them as fine windblown dust. I beat them underfoot like clay in the streets. You rescue me from a hostile army. You make me a leader of nations. People over whom I had no authority are now my subjects. When they hear of my exploits, they submit to me. Foreigners are powerless before me. Foreigners lose their courage. They shake with fear as they leave their strongholds. My Lord is alive. My protector is praiseworthy. The God who delivers me is exalted as king. The one true God completely vindicates me. He makes nations submit to me. He delivers me from my enemies. You snatch me away from those who attack me. You rescue me from violent men. So I will give you thanks before the nations. O oh Lord, I will sing praises to you. He gives his chosen king magnificent victories. He is faithful to his chosen ruler. To David and his descendants forever. We're going to hear this almost the exact same words when we get to 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel 22, when David is saying these words. This psalm was created so that the people could sing praises not only to your power, God, but also to the Davidic line. We have to remember that at that time they were praying for the Davidic line to be loyal to you, to be faithful to you. Uh, to do your will so that the one that was coming to save them through the Davidic line would rightfully take his place as their Lord, as their King. And I think we really, especially in today's political climate, we need to remember that piece of it. We need to remember to pray for our leaders, the people who are under constant attack as they continue to try and lead churches, try and lead youth groups, try and lead Bible studies, uh, try and lead ministries, uh, be missionaries. Sometimes we forget to include all of those people in our prayers. You know, sometimes I'm totally guilty. Gosh, you know, they're a pastor. They've got it going on. They've got it all figured out. But we need to pray for them. We need to pray that they will continue to do your will, that they'll be faithful to you, God. Just like the people back then were praying for the future generations from David uh, would be faithful to your will as well. God, today I do ask for prayers for everyone. Everyone who is your child, who is leading other people. And that's pretty much all of us because all of us are responsible responsible for discipling other people. Others have ministries, missions, pastors, elders. There's so many things that you've called us to do. And God, I just pray for that leadership to happen right now. I know that as we love you more, we end up being under attack more and so I have no doubt that the leadership in my churches and in other churches and across the world is definitely under attack and I just pray for their obedience God that they are just always in your word always keeping you in front of them what your will is that they're faithful to that word God help them provide them strength when they are weak, don't let the devil even get in a smidgen of a stronghold in those situations. God, I just pray for them. They're doing mighty, amazing things for you. Please allow them to continue to be servants of yours. 
to do your mighty work and to not be sidetracked left or right by this world and the sins therein. God, you are so powerful. Thank you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.